ax square plus 2bx plus c can be expressed as a times in brackets x square plus 2b upon a times x plus c outside the brackets. Now add b square upon a square inside the brackets and therefore subtract a times b square upon a square outside the brackets. Therefore, this expression is equal to a times x plus b upon a whole square plus c minus b square upon a, which is equal to a times x plus b upon a whole square plus ac minus b square upon a. Now note that in the first term, x plus b upon a whole square is greater than or equal to 0 for all values of x. Now consider the case when a is greater than 0. Therefore, the first term which is a times x plus b upon a whole square is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, using the result above, ax square plus 2bx plus c can be expressed as ac minus b square upon a plus a positive quantity. It therefore follows that ac minus b square upon a is always less than or equal to ax square plus 2bx plus c. which means that ac minus b square upon a is the least value of the expression ax square plus 2bx plus c when a is greater than 0. This completes the proof of the first part of the problem. Next consider the case when a is less than 0. This implies that a times x plus b upon a whole square is less than or equal to 0 and therefore the expression ax square plus 2bx plus c can be expressed as ac minus b square upon a plus a negative quantity. This implies that ax square plus 2bx plus c plus a positive quantity is equal to ac minus b square upon a and this means that ax square plus 2bx plus c is always less than or equal to ac minus b square upon a which implies that ac minus b square upon a is the greatest value of the expression ax square plus 2bx plus c when a is less than 0. And this completes the proof of the second part of the problem.